Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to The Basement as I'm finally getting the opportunity to return to Lucifer. This is season one, episode five, and I can hear some of you now go, how can you been away from the show for so long? Life, y'all. Life has happened to me this week, including my youngest had their wisdom teeth pulled and didn't go well. We had some excessive bleeding. But Squid is good, doing better, back up at school, day job is... Uh, but I'm here, I'm here, and I'm so excited to get to it, especially with all of you, because you are making this so much fun. I believe, I just realized in where we had left off, which was Lucifer has been injured. He has been hurt for the first time. He is bleeding, and he finds that exciting. <laughs> so what are we gonna find next? I... <sighs> mm. But I'm ready to get to it, and I know you are as well, so we're gonna get under the big cozy blanket. I have, because why not, ginger whiskey on standby. I hope you have your favorite beverage. Uh, you're gonna hit subscribe if you haven't already. And also, as I got something in my eye, a full episode of Watch Along is available on Patreon. Check it out. Okay, y'all, let's get to it. It's athletic wear that looks like every other athletic, oh, shoes. It's a shoe fashion show. Got it now. I don't think anyone's looking at the shoes. Oh, hello. Oh. Dangerous. <laughs> you were shot and you bled. No shop objects until we find out why. Oh yeah, is Maze gonna be extra, extra protective now? Fun with mortality. Bring it. Bring it! Bring it! Oh, he moved rather quickly. Just you tell me your most dangerous desire. Cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Who's shooting who? last call. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, what about my broken heart? Wow. Someone's still going. Oh no. People really do kill for Benny's shoes. She snuck out of the house. I thought she was asleep. Mrs. Cortez, I'll find who caused your daughter's death. You okay? Her only child was trampled to death after some thug fired into a crowd. Oh, she was in shot. She was trampled. Can you and his piggybacking homicide until we can figure out who wanted Benny Choi dead? How do we how do we know it was Benny Cho who was the target? It just seems that every time I turn around, you're in another shootout with your buddy Lucifer by your side. Not an issue. He was just, I don't know, uh, some mystery. Don't worry. Lucifer Morningstar's completely out of my life. Right. <laughs> I love how he puts her in the handcuffs. I'm not actually here to see you. I've come to talk to your boss. Oh, the boss! The boss! Right. Thank you all who reminded me, but as I was editing and it was going through my head, she played Sarah Atwood, the woman in Yellowstone that I just finished a few weeks ago. As you know, I was witness to that grisly death at Benny's. Only a matter of time before those gentlemen start pointing fingers and the whole, the whole thing explodes. And? I want in. I want in. This case is the perfect method for me to explore my mortality in an exciting and dangerous way. Uh, okay, civilian. Oh, you've been very helpful to Detective Decker on her last couple of cases, but civilian mortality is not really what I do here. <laughs> it's funny, because you're an ambitious one, aren't you? I can tell. Brimming with desire. What kind of desires? If I'm gonna be the first female chief of police, I need a big close. I will never be appointed without the support of the minority communities. Right, yes. If you allow me to assist on this case, I'll deliver you all the support you need. Yeah? Let's consider it a favor. Civilian? Olivia, I can explain. Well, you better explain why you have been keeping such a valuable resource all to yourself. We have someone who can make Benny Choi talk. Someone with charm, likability. <laughs> and has real ties to the community. You're welcome, Decker. 
Yeah, that's gonna make me. No, no, dude. My whack job's gonna totally get me killed. Dude, don't play with the firearm. I went to a police simulator this weekend, or this week, earlier this week. Don't play with the firearm. I simply offered the lieutenant a favor. She gets what she wants and I get what I want. A nice juicy gang war. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Partners, more like glorified right along. Just... Now, when do I get my own gun? No. I wouldn't trust you with my kid's lightsaber. If I'm gonna be forced to work with you again, I call the shots. You most certainly do, right in the leg. <laughs> In a moment of weakness, I somehow fell for your hocus pocus mm -hmm. and believed that you actually might be the devil. And how do I you? I am the devil, historically invincible, until now, and that's what makes this case so exciting. Okay, I get it. You want to feel new things. Exactly. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Lucifer, my man. Benny. Benny. So you're friends with Benny Choi and his blinged out pet pig. His name is Pig Diddy. This is my assistant, Hector. Oh. Has Hector's the guilty one. I'm just guessing. Ex-Marine, bitch. It's been a, one of the first people we've ever met has been the guilty ones. Lucifer helped me get my first show. Any idea who took a shot at you? Nope. No recent threats? I'm no snitch. Even if I did know, I can't talk. I'm an artist. I process tragedy through my work. Process tragedy through his work. What kind of tragedy has he had? Me, I'm calling in my IOU. Answer the detective's questions. Oh. Hector clashed with some punks in Latin Kings colors that night. They were capacity. They wanted in. They were making threats. They were upset. And you didn't mention this at the crime scene because my fans aren't just buying shoes. They're buying Benny Choi. Artist, activist, man of the people. I didn't talk because if a Latin king hears an ex-Asian boy done dry stitch him to the cops, those thugs will retaliate on principle. Latin kings versus Asian boys, that really narrows it down. Did you get names? Do you have video footage? Couple, I think. Join at the hip. <laughs> I meant like a video at the door. Cause in this show there seems to be video cameras everywhere. But be careful. Them Latin kings about to raise hell. My speciality. <laughs> no, I'd like you to follow basic protocol. And I'd love to continue the debate on our opposing views of police work. So how about we hit the cop bar and get dangerous with some bottom shelf? Get dangerous with some bottom shelf. <laughs> Forget it. We need to wait for an ID on those uh. kids. 150,000 active gang members in LA. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. We're on duty. You are the oldest young person I've ever met. She's responsible. Besides, you know, I need something to dull the pain. Oh, if I say yes, will you shut up about the leg? No promises. <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, directed by Tim Matheson. Tim Matheson, Tim Matheson? Here comes that bitch, Dex. How's <gasps> that guy? Wait. It's Italian war. Is that Demon? Uh, two shots of your finest swill, please, love. I'll have a water. <laughs> so about this whole favor thing, what, what is it? Are you some kind of loan shark, con man, godfather with a twist? Well, surely you've heard the expression. Deal with the devil. Deal with the devil. Hmm. Who would take a deal like that? Desperate people. They all do. <laughs> Poor metal bitch. Uh -uh. Oh, no. He's partners with the guy who took a bullet in the Palmetto case. Malcolm got shot, meeting with some gangsters, and Paolucci thinks he took the bullet like a hero. I think he was on the take. Oh. I don't need their sympathy, but thank you. Fair enough. Still, no excuse for that man's rudeness. <gasps> I can handle Paolucci. I don't need you to stand up for me. Understood. Well, he's going to do it anyway. Yeah, what do you want? Well, firstly, let me state that I'm in no way standing up for my associate detective Decker, but on behalf of myself and only myself, I think you're a complete sack of ass. Oh! Oh! Hello! What? Oh, it you crazy. Let's get out of here. Uh. Okay. And your name? Mazikeen. How do you spell that? Surprise me. An interesting choice of venue. What are you trying to throw? Oh, 
Ooh, and he's not dressed in his heavenly garb. This is my favorite place in the city. Oh, real. Look at them on their laptops writing the next great screenplay, torturing themselves with dreams they know deep down they will never achieve. Wow, that's 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 sad. I want to go back. Give me something, Maze. Give me something that I can use against Lucifer. I'll have a question later. He doesn't confide in me anymore. There is someone he does talk to. A doctor. Oh. And I bet she would love that ridiculous suit. She's, oh, she's pointing her toward Dr. Linda and not Chloe. <gasps> Hello? Is anybody there? Oh my gosh, if she starts therapizing Amandel, that would be hilarious. Does she now? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to start at you. Well, it totally did. Yeah, let me start over. Uh, I actually just moved into the office next door. Oh, that's his play. Your behavior is foolish. Oh, come on. You used to love danger. I don't know if it's foolish, but more than reckless? If I'm not going to look out for you, who will? Your pet cop? Well, that's what partners are for. She is not your partner. This is our partner. Have you two been talking? Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe next time I won't be around to save your ass. Well, that is a shame. Things change, Lucifer. Yes, but you don't, Maze. You exist to protect me. For reals. To know where I am and who I'm with at all times. For reals. Whether you want to or not. She really his like designated protector. That is her job. Oh, that does put things in perspective. Ish. I've just spent the last couple of hours convincing Anthony Pellucci not to press charges. Well, what if I want to press charges? For what? Stupidity. A drunk on duty cop. Surely that's a no no. <laughs> Is it my thanks you want or a kiss? I did this for Chloe. Do you have any idea how easy a gang vendetta can spiral out of control? Well, I'm trying my best to find out. Chloe is the mother of my child, imbecile. Take care of her. All right, Danny and Diego Ramirez. Married straight out of juvie, real hotheads. As your self-sacrificing partner, I volunteer to go first. You better start taking this case seriously. And even if he believes he can be a mortal-ish, mortal-ish adjacent, Chloe's not. Hmm. It dropped by Lux. Kept rambling on about keeping you safe. Quite condescending, if you ask me. What is it with the men in my life? My ex-husband could not care less about what happens to me. <laughs> Dave, you seem to have left on the central locking. Act like a child, get treated like a child. <laughs> LAPD, open up. My oh, baby, I make you feel nervous. Oh, they are drugged out. Did Lucifer come in through the window? He came in through the window, didn't he? <laughs> what the hell did you get out of the car? He's the devil. First, let's talk Benny Choi. Yes, did you attempt to use him as target practice the other night? That wasn't uh, us. We, we just wanted in. We wanted a pair of Benny's sweet kicks. Well, enough to pay for them with Paolo Cortez's blood. Paolo was Diego's cousin, okay? Oh. That's a really weird connection. I promised I'd get her in the show. There wasn't enough room for three, so we gave her our spot. She won't be a designer. Oh, this is our bad guy. No wonder he can't get it up. Tell us what you know, all right? Yeah, I don't see them interviewing every other witness. If anyone have beef with Benny Choi, it's Yellow Viper. Yellow Viper. <laughs> Sounds like a venereal disease. It does. He was a big deal graffiti artist, ran with Benny back in the day, then took the fall in some B&E. He got five and change while Benny got rich and famous. Wow. Ooh. The fellow's every reason to punish Benny. And speculate later, not in front of them. Got it. So Viper's beef killed your cousin then, eh? What? That wasn't speculation. That was a statement of potential fact. Yeah, no. Let me guess. Anemic sex from Sadoosh. No, from Benny. Someone else is dead. Hey. Some street artist. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Crazy guess. That's not paint. Oh, jeez. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Curiously, not human. What? Oh, his pig! Not the pig! Poor Diddy. 
Ain't no 911 for pets. Bacon for dinner, I guess. Oh. What happened? Tragedy. That's what happened. I had no idea he was out. No contact. I sent him letters when he was inside San Quentin. No money for lawyers, too. Oh. Yeah, Viper must have snuck into my show. He fired those shots. Killing Pig Diddy was a message. You need proof, though. Jeff, they really don't make bad guys like they used. <laughs> well, finally, some real action. I'm more than ready to face the danger of the notorious Yellow Viper. He needs to, to drill down the excitement for... <laughs> carnage. I was just wondering if you were a kid to grab a drink. I actually need someone to confide in about a patient, a troubling one. Oh, oh, so uh, a doctor, a doctor to a doctor thing. And hey, listen, if you have any patients you need to talk about. You have no idea. You share with me, I share with you, fluid exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one drink. Was he aware of the pun or the suggestiveness? Seriously, a community center. This is where we'll find the deadly yellow viper. According to his parole officer. He's teaching art classes. I've been thinking about that favor that you gave Benny. Look, Viper hadn't have gone to prison. He wouldn't have targeted Benny and shot up his show, which means Paula Cortez would still be alive. You're not seriously blaming me for that girl's death. Just stating fact, cause and effect, intended or not. Oh, no, that's a big old ass butterfly effect. Remember, tagging means nothing if it doesn't come from right here. Teaching art to youngsters. Mm -hmm. I mean, this bad guy thing's gonna be on the joke now. What next? Cuddles and ice cream. Ooh, do you have something to hide, Mr. Viper? Oh, you think I'm gonna let you bust my balls in front of these kids? So does all of Lucifer's powers, I'm wondering, dim when he's around Chloe? Things might go, go a lot faster. Drive by! Drive by! Hey, they can just drive into this community center <gasps> with kids with what please I promise we're dealing with this you and your per partner want to get caught in the crossfire cop be my guest seriously that's not <laughs> how As the master of punishment, I completely understand your desire to make Viper pay for the tragic death of your cousin. You do seem to have this danger thing down, Pat, don't you? What are you talking about? So answer me this. So you engage in turf wars, yet nobody actually owns any turf. Put your back, freak! All right, let's finish this. And, and those trousers, I mean, you wear them so low that, I mean, you could park your bike in there. You make <laughs> they just all ran. Nobody else is paying attention. None of these yahoos. I'll kill you first. Sure. <gasps> Who is this? What's happening? Is that Maze? Oh, oh yeah, it is. Maze is happening. Her bartender's a ninja, of course she is. Shattered tibia. Oh, ouch. Orbital fracture. <laughs> Expecting maze. Oh, Why is Viper being arrested? That was Viper, right? They found a gun in Viper's bag. <gasps> and hey, it looks like uh, got the bad guy. Did we? Yeah, I think I just figured it out. Why you do these favors? It's about power. It makes you feel superior in control. Yes. You're addicted to creating chaos and seeing where the chips fall to hell with the consequences. <laughs> it's like you have some kind of god complex. I most certainly do not. You do a favor for one person, someone else suffers. When you gave Benny that favor, you damned Viper to prison twice. Well, he didn't have to show up at the place and start shooting. If it was, we haven't seen any bit of evidence. Why is Chloe driving him in? I mean... Why would a seasoned parolee bring a gun to a children's art class? Let's see if he has a conscience as well, shall we? Hello. Hello. 
What do you desire to do with the rest of your time on Earth? All I want to do is my art. If I hated him so much, why would I bother to go after him and miss? I mean, to pop off in a crowd like that and not hit anyone, he'd have to be the worst shot in the world. Or the best. So who else is a good shot? It's my favor really did pay off for you, didn't it, Benny? You're a huge star. <laughs> but if there's one thing the devil abhors, it's a fake. I'm all about authenticity. Sure. Uh -huh. You failed to inform me that in getting you off the B&E charge, suspicion would immediately fall on your best friend. I had no control over that. Uh, didn't you? <gasps> oh. Snap! Viper was always the real talent. When you heard he was getting released, you tried to take down the competition before he could take down you. Planned a simple frame job, parole violation that would send Viper back to prison. How the hell could I have staged that frame job? How could I have pointed a gun at myself? But how did no one get hit? That takes precision. I saw your Marine tattoo when I met you, Hector. Sniper unit. Best marksman in the world. You're responsible for Paolo's murder. Benny made me do it. <laughs> he told me he'd make me a partner. Oh, that was fast. Me plant the gun on Viper. Oh. He killed Pig Diddy. <gasps> I love that pig, man. Oh. He made him kill the pig. You'd be surprised how many pigs are waiting for you in hell. Wait, Benny's gonna get arrested too, right? Conspiracy? Never good as me, man. We're never good as me, man. Never. What? I Do it. Think so, Sonny Jim. Ah. Oh. No, I'm mine. That was funny. This piece seems a lot more authentic to me now. Do the eyes. Do the eyes. I think I'll keep it. Well, that was quite the fade. <laughs> the arrest of Benny Choi and several of the Latin Kings membership is a reminder that my LAPD means justice for all. Hmm. The help of a white man. <laughs> Olivia got what she wanted, and I got what I wanted. Come on, don't I'm say I'm now an official civilian consultant for the LAPD. Mm hmm. Does this mean you're going to take me home and consummate our new arrangement then, detective? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. No? <laughs> you said you wanted danger. Oh, well, that's just... Tenant's there. She'll give you a lift. Cheers. To you, Mays, for saving my mortalized ass. Cheers. Oh, Maisie. I know that you'll always protect me. No matter how mortal I become, the devil does can she, depend on that. Does she have to? Whatever the danger, I'll be there to stop it. <laughs> oh, even if it's from yourself. Who is this? Maze. What you doing? The way I feel, and I've never known it. Mm. Okay, my question. So Maze followed Lucifer out of hell. She's a soldier. She the only soldier? Are there other ones left behind? She wants to go home. So is she not allowed to go back to hell without him? Like he has to let her back in? What's stopping her is my question. But then at the end where she said like, I will always protect you. I'm wondering if she has to. Does she have absolutely no free will of her own? Or free will enough? <laughs> so I always like to put the picture. I don't, I don't know. If, okay. Maybe like isn't the word, but my brain automatically goes to, especially if a project is over. So I know six seasons. When does Chloe finally go? Yep. He's the devil. I guess episode four, <laughs> five season one is a little too soon. Is it a third of the way in? So season three, which seems excessive. When does she finally go, yep, this is it. 
And does Dr. Linda catch on faster? So who, that's the, that's the race I'm interested in seeing. Who's going to catch on the fastest that Lucifer is Lucifer, Linda or Chloe? And how much does she spill to Aminol? <laughs> that's a very interesting. Why doesn't he just, he doesn't have powers just to break into her office and go through all of his, her files? Wouldn't that be easier? You're an angel. A mega angel? Slow down time. Just read the hers. <laughs> Go through her notes. Mm -hmm. I also realize that I'm asking questions that I'll probably get answers to later. And you all who love this show might be, might be ready to dive in and give me all the answers now. You can hold off. That's okay. I'm just spouting. I'm just speculating out loud. I like to be surprised. I like to let the story unfold. But these are the thoughts that are going through my head as I'm watching the story progress. How much of Lucifer's powers will change if Chloe's around? Apparently he can still shippy shifty pretty easily if she's around. Can he get wounded again? If he gets wounded, can he die or does he just get severely wounded but will he die die and if he die dies does he go to hell or is he disappears out of existence from all planes and does god have the power to stop it will we meet god have we met god already hmm so many questions so many questions, but when I ask questions, there's two types of questions I find. There's questions as in I have no idea what's going on and I'm just trying to figure out what is happening. And then there's the questions I'm asking about Lucifer because I'm interested in the story and I want to know more. And these are the things I want to know about. So I'm asking my favorite kind of questions about the show because I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued and I'm enjoying myself thoroughly so far. So if you think I'm not, I totally am having a good time with all of you. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this up, let you go get something to eat, get something to drink. Remember, this is your reminder to stand. Also, this is your reminder to breathe. Take a second, find five seconds of joy, and then you're gonna come back and watch the next video on the queue, and I will try my best to have more Lucifer sooner rather than later. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.